Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel. In the last video we have seen how to write a basic task using free autos on ESP32. And we have seen how two tasks executes one after another when we have set the priority of both tasks same. And we have seen that only one task was executing when it had the higher priority than the other task. And today in this video we are going to understand all those behaviors. And we will understand that who is responsible for switching in and out of task and also who is responsible for time sharing among tasks. Let's start with the scheduler. A scheduler is a piece of code that is a part of kernel that decides multiple things. Like which task should run on the processor by examining the priority of the task and time sharing among tasks. Unlike vanilla free autos where we use this function x task scheduler to start the scheduler in ESP IDA free autos the scheduler run before main task. Before we start discussing various scheduling behaviors, let's look at the very important terminology that I will use throughout this video. Preemption. So what is preemption? Preemption is nothing but replacing a running task with the another one. So preemptions occur when a task that is currently running on the processor is interrupted or forced to stop, even if it is not finished its work. In simple term, it means that a task can be paused in the middle of its execution to allow another task to run. Now let's discuss various scheduling policies which are available. A scheduler schedules tasks to run on the CPU according to these scheduling policies, which is configured in free RTOS. Let's discuss them using an example. Now here in the code we have two tasks, task 1 and task 2. And they are having a same priority. Uh, that is 3. When we run this code, both executes one after another. We can also say that for an equal interval of time task 1 executes and for same interval of time task 2 executes. And this behavior of scheduling is called round robin preemptive scheduling. In round robin preemptive scheduling task of same priority schedules one after another for an equal interval of time and task left or preempted the CPU on the basis of fixed timing. Here in the timing diagram, we can see that task 1 runs for time t1 and then task 2, which is another same priority task, preempt the task 1 at autos tick. So what is this autos tick? It is basically a timer interrupt due to which a round robin preemption occurs and this time is configurable, which we will see later. And then task 2 runs for time t2, which then get preempted by task 1 at other autos tick. And this time is configurable in autos kernel. It could be 1 millisecond or 2 millisecond. Basically, it depends on the application. Now let's look at the timing. In free autos config.h file, here, here config tick rate hertz changes the frequency. Let's change this. Open many config and type tick. Here we can see the frequency. Let's reduce it by 50. Build and run code again. Now if you have noticed that time for executing both tasks increases. So using this macro we can play with the timing of task. In this type of scheduling, task left or preempt the CPU on the basis of timing. Now if we have the task of different priorities, what would happen? Let's give task 1 a higher priority, giving 4. Now task 1 is of higher priority. Uh, let's run this code. Here we can see that only task 1 is executing. Now in order to give opportunity to the other task to run, we must block this higher priority task for some time so that other task can get the opportunity to run. And we can block this task by using vTaskDelay function. This function block this task for a given time. Now build and run this code again. Here we can see that task 1 execute only once and then it went into blocking state and then during the time task 1 gets unblocked task 2 of low priority got the opportunity to execute task 2 execute until task 1 gets unblocked when task 1 unblocks scheduler immediately preempt the task 2 and execute task 1 so this behavior of scheduling is called priority based preemptive scheduling because it preempts the current running task on the basis of priority 
Now let's complicate it more and add one more task. Let's say task 3 and assign it a priority 3. Now we are having three tasks, task 1 of priority 4, task 2 and task 3 of equal priority that is 3. Now let's see what would happen. Build and run this code again. Here it is. We can see here clearly that scheduler picks the task 1 initially because it is having higher priority. And at some time it went into blocking state. We can see here. Then the scheduler comes into the picture and schedules the next higher priority task of the ready list which is task 2 and task 3 sharing the same priority that is 3. And I will explain why it has only come once little later in the video. And here we can see that both the two tasks are run in a round robin manner. Then at some time task 1 comes out of a blocking state and because it is having the highest priority it will schedule to run on the CPU right away. Now let's, now let's understand this using a timing diagram. Uh, so here task 1 execute initially and it immediately goes into blocking state because we are using here we task delay function. Uh, then the scheduler comes into the picture and picks the another higher priority task and that is uh, 2 and 3. It execute task 2. And at this point of time, our toss ticks happens. So it got very less time to run on the CPU. That's why here task 2 run only once. And then the scheduler picks the task 3 because it is having the same priority as of task 2. Later task 2 and 3 runs for equal interval of time until task 1 gets unblocked. Here at this point of time task 1 gets unblocked and it preempts the task 3 and run on the CPU again. So that's all from the video and we will see these things again when we use both cores of ESP32. Thanks for watching.